Strap Binder Grip Clamp Tool features and benefits include the versatility of one tool with three functions, 5 8 inch and 3 quarter inch J series clamp, 5 8 inch center punch clamp, and 5 8 inch, 1 half inch, and 3 quarter inch band and buckle applications. The Strap Binder Grip Clamp Tool can be used with most domestic brands for the mentioned products. The tool is also portable or bench mountable. Unlimited band take-up offers the benefit of no refeeding, preset tension settings for consistent clamp application, an 18-volt lithium-ion battery for approximately 125 clamp applications per charge. It charges quickly to 80% in 15 minutes and a full charge in 30 minutes. A detailed listing of the features and benefits can be viewed at strapbinder.com. General Operation Instructions Selecting Operating Mode This applies to the J-Series clamps, center punch clamps, and band and buckle. The tool is easily changed between clamping modes. Properly install the battery by sliding it in until it clicks in place. Turn the tension control dial counterclockwise all the way to the mode selection. When in mode selection, the tool will not operate. Press the operation button to toggle between modes. One flash indicates that you are in the J-clamp mode. Two flashes indicates that you are in the band and buckle mode. Three flashes indicates that you are in the center punch mode. Setting band and clamp tension. Use the recommended tension levels chart located on the side of the tool to determine the tension level for the specific clamp to be applied. Rotate the dial to the desired tension level. Note that when exiting the mode selection, the operation button will once again flash the selected mode. The tool is ready to operate. J-Series Clamp Application For this demonstration, the bench mount will be used, but is not required. Install the J-Series attachment to the base tool using the two cap screws provided with the attachment. Insert the battery into the tool. Turn the control dial to mode. Press the operation button to the desired J-Series clamp mode. You'll see one blink, then select the proper tension using the tension level chart. Depress the handle to insert the tail of the clamp into the tool, making sure that it is fully inserted and then place the clamp on the hose assembly. If preferred, the clamp can be placed on the hose assembly prior to inserting the clamp into the tool. At this point, the clamp is ready to be applied. Press the operation button once to activate the tension cycle. When tension cycle is complete, the tool will automatically reverse slightly and re-engage the clamp. After the cycle completes, roll the hose assembly towards the tool to nest the clamp lock with the cutter portion of the handle. Pull the handle forward to cut the tailpiece of the completed clamp. The cycle is now complete. Remove the tail from the tool by depressing the handle and pulling the tail out or by pressing the operation button to run the tool until the tail is removed. Then press the button again to stop the tool. A foot pedal accessory is available for J-Series clamp applications. Center Punch Clamp Application Install the center punch attachment using the two cap screws provided with the attachment. Insert the battery into the tool. Turn the control dial to mode. Press the operation button to the desired center punch clamp mode. You'll see three blinks. Then select the proper tension using the tension level chart. Depress the handle to insert the tail of the clamp into the tool, making sure that it is fully inserted, and then place the clamp on the hose assembly. If preferred, the clamp can be placed on the hose assembly prior to inserting the clamp into the tool. At this point, the clamp is ready to be applied. Press the operation button once to activate the tension cycle. Once the cycle is complete, the tool will stop tensioning. At this point, you will strike the punch head three times with a three pound hammer. This will form an indentation in the lock. 
rotate the tool or assembly repeatedly until the band snaps off. The cycle is now complete. Remove the tail from the tool by depressing the handle and pulling the tail out or by pressing the operation button to run the tool until the tail is removed. Then press the button again to stop the tool. Band and buckle application, making a band and buckle clamp. Pull the appropriate length of banding material from the banding box or tote and snip the banding. Apply the ear style buckle to the band by sliding the band through the buckle bridge first and then past the ears. Slide enough banding through to ensure that the banding passes the buckle. Bend the banding under the buckle. Hammer the bend to flatten the banding in place. Feed the banding back through the buckle and repeat for a double wrapped clamp. The band and buckle clamp is now ready for application. Band and buckle clamp application. Install the band and buckle attachment to the base tool using the two cap screws provided with the attachment. Insert the battery into the tool. Turn the control dial to mode. Press the operation button to the desired band and buckle mode. You'll see two blinks, then select the proper tension using the tension level chart. Depress the handle to insert the tail of the clamp into the tool, making sure that it is fully inserted, and then place the clamp on the hose assembly. If preferred, the clamp can be placed on the hose assembly prior to inserting the clamp into the tool. At this point, the clamp is ready to be applied. Press the operation button once to activate the tension cycle. When the tension cycle is complete, the tool will automatically reverse slightly and re-engage the clamp. Once the cycle completes, rotate the tool until the band is bent past 90 degrees. Push the handle to cut the band. To complete the clamp assembly, push the tail down until it lies between the two ears of the buckle. Hammer the ears down to complete the application. The cycle is now complete. Remove the scrap tail from the tool by depressing the handle and pulling the tail out, or by pressing the operation button to run the tool until the tail is removed. Then press the button again to stop the tool. Four main points for proper tool operation. One, it is key that the tool is put into the proper mode. One blink, you are in the J-Series clamp application. Two blinks, you are in the band and buckle application. Three blinks, you are in the center punch application. It is very important to make sure you are in the proper mode. Two, when feeding the clamp into the tool, make sure you depress the lever, which opens up the gap between the feed wheel and the rollers. Insert the clamp as much as possible until the tail is under the roller. 3. The strap binder grip clamp tool can be used on similar products sold by competitors. Due to variations in material thickness, the gap between the feed wheel and the rollers may need to be adjusted. To do so, use a 2.5mm hex wrench to turn the adjustment screw which can be accessed through the top of the tool as shown. Turn clockwise for greater clearance and counterclockwise for less clearance. Turn the adjustment screw in 1 8 inch increments and test. Continue to adjust as needed. 4. When the tool is not in use, it is recommended to remove the battery.